talk about video games that we are reviewing. Yeah. Video games are not dead. E3 has happened. It's done and dusted. No Man's Sky's not out for like six <laughs> weeks or something. But we've still got video games. Mm -hmm. And you reviewed one. Yes. It's from the makers of Limbo, Play yeah. Dead. It's yeah. called Inside. Eight mm -hmm. out of ten? Uh, eight out of ten. Nice yeah. Uh, it, tell us about it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Like it is easily one of my favorite games of the year. I gave it an eight because I think that, you know, when you, did you play Limbo? Yes. You played Limbo. A couple times. Um, through, yeah. When I played Limbo, it, I definitely, like I, I saw how cool it is and mm. how, how, like why people love that game, but there are also parts of it that I felt were flawed. Yeah. Like I think that somewhere along the second half, it sort of lost itself. It lost that narrative feel that you had at the beginning mm. um, and sort of just got stuck in this, this rut of just completing puzzle after puzzle. Yeah, after I puzzle. remember at the end of that game feeling like, oh, I'm glad this is over. Exactly. Like I enjoyed it, but I was like, it was like yeah. 10 minutes over its sort of time. Yeah. Uh, Inside is much better than that. Um, it keeps its narrative cohesion basically throughout the entire game, but there are parts of it where I still see those flaws. Yeah. Um, and I, I thought that uh, it was just enough to sort of break it a little bit for me mm. during the middle part of Inside. And I, um, I guess your caveat uh, while we're starting here is because a lot of people have been handing 10 out of 10s for this. Yeah, probably. yeah. Yeah. That's my caveat. Yeah. 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 It's, I am, my score was on the low end of, uh, of what's been going around. Mm. Um, yeah. I believe a lot of, a lot of, of uh, Alice have been giving it perfect scores. Yeah, which tends to happen with uh, smaller games. Yeah. You know, they, they, they do a little less, so they tend to get discount or you right. know, mark down a little bit less as well. Right. Um, yeah, so I guess let's speak to what works in this game. Is it very similar to Limbo? It looks like environmental, sort of like walking around, not super combat heavy. Right, so it's the gameplay is essentially identical. Right. It's environmental puzzles, you're walking from left to right. Um, you know, you're, you're trying to get through this world, uh, but other than that, the sort of wrapping around that gameplay is almost entirely different. Okay. Like, you know, in Limbo, the backgrounds were very vague. Like, they mm. were white and gray and black. You didn't really see much in the background. Most yeah. of what was presented was along the same plane that you were walking. Mm. And lim in, uh, Inside, rather, the backgrounds are just, like, beautifully detailed. Like, they have ev there's all sorts of motion going on in the backgrounds. Like, there are people walking around. There's things happening. There's things moving. There's just these secrets hidden back there that... that give you a little bit more of an idea of what's happening in this mm. world. Um, th that was probably, honestly, it's such a beautiful game. It is so gorgeous. And um, just looking in the, like taking the time to walk slowly through these, through these uh, levels and yeah. looking into the background was one of my favorite. And, and stuff happens in the background, which impacts you as well. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I've seen the parts where like guys are flashing uh, flashlights at you right. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite parts actually is during the section where there's this sort of like pulsing shockwave that comes every few seconds. And, um, that pulsing shockwave mm. will blow parts of the background into the foreground and can knock you off. Right. Um, What's the term? Isn't it like 2.5 D they yeah, started using right. for like, uh, I mean like Rayman origins kind of right. had mm. that as a, that uh, the Castlevania 3DS game or whatever. Right. It's always interesting. Yeah, it's very much like that, 2.5D. Um, yeah, it. I, I loved those sections of just, you know, staring into the backgrounds and seeing mm. things happening back there. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, what length are we talking about? And not uh, to be reductive, but just as a sort of a general, like... It's pretty short. It's like three... It took me like three and a half hours okay. the first time through, I think. So then, to Limbo? Yeah. In and then I, I played it again because I wanted to uh, go through it again and see some of the parts that I might have missed. Um, and it took me like an hour... Right, to, finish, right, to just run enough. through, yeah. Mike, you got any fond memories of playing Limbo? I only just finished it first, uh, finally, like four months ago. Oh, really? It was, uh, I think it was free on Steam or something, as mm. it was like last week again. But I played it way back in the day when around like Fez was out mm. and it was Braid and Limbo. Isn't that first group of indie games is when we still used indie as like if they were actually independent. Now we can, it's kind of like a catch all term a lot yeah. of times. For it was on like the games. tail end of that whole sort of thing. Sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I think I, I agree with Alex. It was kind of. I got into that game for the atmosphere and the storytelling, like as stark as the storytelling was, but the actual puzzles themselves became so they became really difficult in the game that I wasn't really looking for difficulty. I'm not averse right. to difficulty in any way, but that game, the momentum it carried through, the pacing it had the first half was just like, yeah, it's tilted later on. Yeah, and I, I think you'll like Inside then because the puzzles don't really get difficult at all. Mm. Um, it's way more about the puzzles interacting with the world and being compliments to your exploration of the world rather than actually just completing the puzzles. Um, so I 
for most of that game, I thought it worked like way better than Limbo did. Even cool. Does it have that same sort of like weirdly gruesome aspect to oh, it yeah. as well? Like, oh yeah. I happen to be sitting next to him during one of those parts. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I had that, no idea what was happening. That was actually the ending. So uh, let's not go into all that right. at all. But uh, all right. um, sweet. Like during that shockwave section that I was talking about. Yeah. If you get hit by the shockwave, you literally get blown to bits okay. like yeah. your like your arms get flung into the foreground and yeah there are parts where like blood just gets splattered all over and yeah um yeah it's i did mention the ending though i do want to talk about that as you know not spoiling anything yeah, but, yeah. um what no, did you guys think no of specifics yeah exactly what did you guys think of limbo's ending it was nice it was like it was it was like Fine. forlorn and kind of like it was a, I'm trying to remember exactly the takeaway you were supposed to have from it, but it was like subtle and kind of like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it didn't wasn't like bloody the end of Bioshock or anything right. like that. Right. Um, I don't know. I thought I thought Limbo's ending like it was nice. It mm. was sort of abrupt. You know, it didn't yes, really. Yes, that's true. With, yeah, I yeah. didn't realize it was the ending until it was the ending. Yeah. So insides is abrupt as well, which is one of my. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's. Like I described it when I when I saw it as like a roundhouse kick of metaphor to the face. <laughs> right. Um. It's not subtle at all. Okay. It's incredibly abrupt, and it feels like this is one of my negatives. Actually, it feels right. sort of like it doesn't fit with the rest of it. Almost like they're trying too hard at that point. Mm. Um, the more I thought about it, the more I sort of liked it. Yeah. But I still don't think it was the best way they could have ended that game. So. Yeah. yeah. Got to stick the landing if you're going to drag people through a three-hour uh, narratively, lin- you know, like, explorer of game. Exactly. Uh, it's out on Xbox One right now. Came out to. Day? Tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. It's out? It's out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's on there for PC then for a week after that. July yeah, 7th, so. apparently. Yep. Uh, you played it on Xbox One, presumably. Yep. Have you played it on PC yet? I haven't yet. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I can imagine it's beautiful on PC. So. Yeah. Don't expect yeah. too much in terms of controls or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. Alex, for coming on. Thank you. It's about Inside. It's one of the more difficult games to come on to the lobby and talk about because yeah. it's kind of want to keep it vague as possible. Exactly. Uh, 19 right now, available on Xbox One. It'll be on PC uh, real soon as well for, I imagine, the same part. Yeah. Uh, Cool.